Okay, with our soda bottle rocket, we're going to start by making a parachute with a simple kitchen trash bag. You're going to lay out the trash bag so the long side's towards you. And what we're going to do, our first fold there is a hot dog fold. And the second fold's going to be the hamburger fold. And you want to make sure the ends that are open are away from you. And we have the folded end towards us and the folded end to the left side. Now we're going to take that and fold that over, take the closed end to the closed end, fold that over. We're going to have the open end away from us, and we're going to do that once, and then we're going to repeat the step again, and you'll see we'll have a smaller uh, triangle shape. Flip that over, and we're going to make a straight cut across the bottom. The distance from the top to where you're cutting will be the radius of your parachute. If we open that up, you're going to see you're going to have uh, spots on your chute where you're going to be able to put your shroud lines on. What I like to do is take some duct tape. I'll take eight pieces of duct tape and then uh, fold those over with half of it on top of the chute, half underneath. Once I take those eight corners, I'll then take, and you notice I will fold that duct tape over and make a V cut in each one of those pieces. And what that does, it gives me um, eight pieces. Then I'm going to take eight pieces of rope, the diameter, same, the diameter of my parachute, and I attach them to the eight pieces of duct tape. And next I'm going to pull all those shroud lines up and get them nice and even. Once I get them even, I'm going to tie a knot at the top. Now my chute's ready to go. The next thing we're going to be doing is building the rocket. I'm going to start with two liters of soda, two liter bottles. I already cut the one in half. And what I've done is make my um, tab. Uh, for the top around the top of the one bottle so my nose cone fits on there securely depending on what you're going to use for your nose cone if you notice when I put that nose cone on that cardboard I caught on top none of the cardboard sticks out so I like to put my bottle in a vise to keep it up straight while I'm working on it and we're going to come back and secure that cardboard later I also have my fins cut out I cut three fins out and you want to make sure your fins can be attached to the bottle where the flat part of your bottle is going to be. And so I have three. One of the other ways to make a fin also is out of a manila folder. If you just fold it in half and make a line coming down uh, from the one side, uh, the shape of your wing that you want. So I'm going to cut straight down, I'm going to cut the line, but I'm going to leave a little bit excess because that's actually going to be the tab um, for my fin. So I'm just going to cut down, bring it down, and then I'm just going to cut down in the top a little bit, a little notch right at the top there, and I will fold the one side where the black marker was, and I'm going to fold the other side and that gives me a nice area to uh, attach the duct tape to if I want to put that on the side. If you, so you can make your fins out of cardboard like me or you can make them out of manila folder. The next step is to take the two liter bottle that I cut already, set it on top of the other one and I'm just putting duct tape around the top and that's actually going to be where my fuselage is and where my parachute's going to go and so now I have that secure. I want to make sure it's nice and straight. Now you can see what my rocket looks like so far. I have the fuselage and my nose cone will fit on there nice and straight. Very important to have a nice straight rocket um, to start with. The next thing I'm doing here is I'm cutting very small tabs to put under my cardboard up on top. So when my nose cone comes down, it pushes on that piece of cardboard, but it stays secure up there. 
make sure you fasten that with some duct tape and I'd put eight or ten underneath that uh, ring of cardboard. Now you'll notice when I put my nose cone on there I can push down on my rocket and it's very secure. Uh, the force when this rocket takes off um, and why am I putting that on there? So my nose cone stays sturdy on the top when the rocket does take off the launch pad. The next step is to find the circumference of the bottle. I'm just going to use a string, put a mark on the one side, then I'm going to take my string and put it around and mark that string, and then I'll take that string off. I'm putting on three fins, so I'm going to split that up in thirds, put it back on, and that's going to tell me uh, where my fins are going to be attached. Then I actually took my bottle over, put it in a door jam, and made three straight lines so my fins are attached. Now I'm going to put some hot glue on the fins and just uh, fasten each one on there. And the hot glue, make sure you put it on the fin itself. I'm going to stick all three on, but that's really not what's going to hold those fins on. I'm going to go back to some old trusty duct tape again and make sure I put it in the seam of the bottle and the fin and I'm going to use duct tape to secure my fins on and I'm going to do that with each one and make sure you don't have a lot of duct tape sticking out make sure it's nice and neat for aerodynamic purposes next stuff is attaching your nose cone to the parachute and that to the bottle what I like to do is just take a piece of string, a long line, and tie the one end to the bottle. And that's what I'm doing right here. And I'll tie a knot there. And I'll take the other piece and tie that out to the nose cone. The purpose here is when that nose cone comes off, comes out of that, off that bottle, it is going to then pull my parachute out of the, um, my fuselage. The critical point here is that make sure that string is longer than the shroud lines on your parachute. And the shorter the shroud lines on the parachute are actually better so they don't get tangled up inside the bottle. Another vital point here is make sure once you have this string attached that you attach your parachute out by the end of the nose cone. Um, and so I'm leaving a little bit of line here. And now I'm going to take my parachute that we made earlier and I'm going to tie it out here on a couple strings out uh, at the end of the parachute. Now we have a rocket that's basically made here with the parachute attached out by the nose cone. So when it comes out of the rocket, uh, it will be successful. And I am going to trim my fins up. Um, here, but make sure how when you do put the parachute in there just don't jam it in like I'm going to here You want to fold it up nice and neatly another trick is we use Baby powder on our parachutes so they do come out of the rocket. Good luck, and hopefully you have a successful uh, water bottle rocket